In the abortion debate, there's one word that will never cross the lips of those on the left, the pro-death, or excuse me, the pro-abortion. And that word, let me mimic Joe Biden as he would say that word. Baby. Babies. Baby. Think I have that down? Babies. You'll never hear it talked about. And specifically, I want to refer to the unwanted babies. And it breaks my heart even to say that and to recognize there's so many women, maybe as many as half of the pregnancies are unwanted. These babies are not wanted. And so the result is they die. It's an incredible situation that we're in. So Roe v. Wade was overturned. There are those on my side that are just cheering and celebrating and saying, hey, we're going to save so many lives with this. And I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but I don't see it. You see, I think I'm the only person in all of America that has learned a very important historical lesson. And I've told you this so many times, but you can make something illegal, ban it, prohibit it. It's not going to stop it. It's going to, in many cases, even grow. Take prohibition, as always. So here we passed a constitutional amendment to prohibit the sale, the transportation, the manufacture of alcohol. What happened? There was even more alcohol. Of course, it gave us famous figures like Al Capone, good movies like The Untouchables. But the bottom line was utter failure. Didn't reduce it at all. And so for that girl out there who's pregnant, and she doesn't want the baby. You know what? She's not going to go, oh, well, they overturned Roe v. Wade, so I guess I'll keep it. No, she's just going to travel to a state where it's legal and have the baby killed. It's the way that it works. And this is what scares me on the other side. There's going to be a lot of states that make abortion legal and even open it up to practices that are abhorrent, that are morally reprehensible. I heard a California congresswoman, she was asked if she would favor the killing, or excuse me, the uh, termination of a child after birth. She wouldn't come right out and say yes. She just said, well, I would leave that up to the mother, which means, yeah, sure, we would allow that. So who knows what's coming? And so I just hope that my side, this is a chance for us to shine. We need to reach out to these mothers who don't want these babies and do everything we can. We need to provide them a place to stay, counseling. We need to provide them medical care, do everything we can to help bring that baby to term. And then if the mother doesn't want the baby, provide adoption services. And that's something we need to work on too, but we'll get back to that. We really need to take this moment to shine. But as far as Roe v. Wade being overturned or whatever, pfft, pretty much meaningless as far as saving lives.